Welcome to Novo Labs Expo 2050. So Novo in Latin means to make new or from the beginning. So Novo Labs passion is to make a new way forward in being inspired by our beginnings. We would like to use our expertise in not just science, but also design and anthropology to create and find new ways of preserving culture, preserving our species, whilst also improving public and health safety. So today I would like to very proudly announce that our team at Novo Labs have successfully bioengineered a new breed of bat with zero disease transmission thus creating a layer of protection not just for the species but also for the traditions and the stories that they carry with them. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Kuang Yi, I'm one of the founders of Novo Lab, as you know. Uh, in this table, what we are going to do is a bit uh, explore, exploring the packaging of this new product of artificial bat meat. As you know, uh, this product is not officially on the market yet, so we are interested in how our potential customer will react to it. And so you guys, I believe you have creativity to help us to find what kind of shape of the meat could look like. The second step is we found out that packaging is always placing a quite important role in the food market. So we also uh, need your help to help us to find uh, a good name of the product. These are tools to detect what kind of poisons are involved. And so we have four ways to detect them. So basically, if you get a neutral tag, so you basically put this, you make a small incision into the egg, they're bat meat eggs. Uh, make a small incision, put the litmus paper in, and you would basically see a color, a color change. So if it's neutral, has been tampered with, it's very safe. Two of these are solids. So basically with our uh, G modification, we actually, uh, if the bat has been tampered with, uh, the poison gets clotted in certain areas onto the bat skeleton. So if there is a dark blue center, that's your chance to dissect, extract, and remove the poison. And the, out the outside is safe to eat. If you get the two more, there's a green. If you get green, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead That looks like, gr oh, oh, I think that looks like death. death. If you get red, that means the poison's been detected, but our bat meat is actually enabled to regenerate back to its previous state and be healthy for consumption. So that's a kind of energy modification part. So if we can't design the tools in the future to detect poison with different cuisines, how can we start to use our senses to detect poison? So historically speaking, arsenic smells of like almond. So what you see here is, uh, again, this jelly. It's a bat jelly. You have to make a small incision, and if you smell almond, an almond kind of smell, that's arsenic has been poisoned. If you can't smell it, all good, you can eat it. So, uh, a vial of poison, but uh, you have these syringes around the table, okay? This is heavily, this is basically an antidote to the poison. So what we think about future meat is, how can we cure the poison and make it edible at the same time, and also heightens benefits of nutritional value. So, when the antidote is added in, the vitamin D level goes sky high and the poison goes very low. So we've got taste, smell, and visual as well, okay? So UV lights, this also can detect uh, arsenic and UV rays and detects almond, the almond span, the almond uh, particle. Uh, you can sometimes see, visually see, uh, quite a hard glow from the gem. So today, I'm going to take you on a journey. We are currently in a cave. You've had a whole day's worth of sleep. You're hungry, and you're thirsty. You're ready for your nightly hunt. 
and you hear your fellow companions indicate through their beautiful sounds that there is a swarm of mosquitoes at a nearby riverbank. Follow the sounds and let it take you on a hunt of these mosquitoes. And maybe you might find a moth or two fluttering on the side as an appetizer or a dessert. Come back to your breath. Come back to your present body. Come back to the sounds of the popping tea, bringing you back to the present at the Novo Labs Expo 2050.